I hate it when someone buys something or you look at something and it's just a big blob of fakeness. I hate it. I really, really hate it. And then there's still people that's buying that. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're watching this video and you're subscribed, it means you're an OG and well done to you. But if you're watching this and you're new to the channel, it means you need to subscribe. Maybe hit that thumbs up button and after this video, give us a comment or so and maybe just share the video. And um, I hope you enjoy it. So for today's video, I thought I'm going to do something else. There's a whole world of fake bikes and replica bikes and things that's not real and then there's the real thing and at a point there was a very big brand in South Africa and maybe in the whole world that took a big knock because of the production of fake brand um, bicycles and I think you guys already know what it is you can see it by the uh, thumbnail of this video but I'm going to show you guys a few things on this bike that can help you to um, identify the real one and if you're looking to buy one um, that you can make sure you're buying the real deal and then the other things I'll just do I'm gonna do some spe uh, specs on the bike the weight and then just a few things that I like on this bike and the things that I don't like on this bike so yeah if you're new here hit that subscribe button stay tuned to the end I'm making a big announcement there and let's do this now at a point this was one of the most sought after bikes in our country in South Africa everybody wanted the Panero and I must say I wanted one as well they were super expensive but the lines on the bikes were super nice the coloring that they used I remember the um, Panarello prints they had uh, it was red with uh, yellow with red lines uh, super super nice bike I'll see if I can find a photo and put it up um, but everybody wanted one of these bikes and then came the red bikes the replica bikes and it just blew the brand out of the water and it, you know, at a point nobody wanted it because when you saw someone riding with those bikes they thought yeah, it's probably a fake but I'm sitting here with one that made me think twice before taking on this challenge because I need to sell it for a client and with a name that wasn't that good at the point um, I don't think it will be super easy to sell this bike but the name's been restored they're making beautiful bikes again I think the replica things are out you I think you can probably buy anything that you want but yeah enough of me talking let's get to the b-roll on this bike Now there's so many things that they made on these bikes that just make the replicas look so good and almost the real deal. And then I thought, well, they won't put something like this in there. Um, the cable routing, cover plate. If you don't put a cable through there, you can just put that on there. Wrong, they actually made that. And then I thought, ah, no, they'll probably have bad carbon or anything. And it looked actually just like this. You won't be able to see it there, but if I hold it still, you can see the weave on the carbon. Wrong. They made that as well. And then I thought, no, you'll see it on the glitter in the frame. And then wrong again. They made that as well. So the only real way to know on a bike like this would be if you're opening the frame. On the inside of the routing, they'll have built-in carbon fiber routing um, for your brakes and for your gears as well. well. This is now the electronic bike, but for the gears as well. And then the main thing, the only, only thing that you can find on a real bike that you won't find on the replica bike would be a serial number. Now, yes, they can put a serial number on the fake bikes as well, but this one is painted um, it, it's in the frame. So it's painted over so you, you can't take it off. It's not a sticker that's on here. It's part of the paint job. And that's one of the mo best reasons, um, no, best ways to see that you're buying the real deal. Um, obviously, if you take your hacksaw and you cut it open here, yeah, you'll see 
they use fiberglass to put it onto the carbon so it doesn't bond that's why they break so easily i've seen a few guys falling quite hard it breaks off here and then on the bbs as well so yeah you can take a axe on just open it if you want to <laughs> really want to do that uh, if i've got a fake one one day i'll cut it open and we'll see how it looks on the inside but that's some of the best ways to make sure that you're buying the real deal make sure it's got some you can take out the headset it's easy to see it you'll see your carbon fiber rooting in there and then for the cables as well um, and then obviously the best way to see is the serial number that's painted into the frame if i can say it like that so yeah, now i'm going to go to the few things i like on this bike and then some of the things i don't like and then as always you guys know me i'll just weigh the bike and then i'll do some motivation afterwards now obviously the first thing i like on this bike is the fact that it's the real deal um, i hate it when someone buys something or you look at something and it's just a big blob of fakeness i hate it i really really hate it and then there's still people that's buying that rather support the real deal um, because there's a lot of technology and time and money going into making the real deal but anyway the fact that this is a real thing it's a world cup edition it's the, uh, a world edition it's 2013 bike or well 2013 world edition super cool looking bike it's got your dira asti2 group set on here which i'm a big fan of i know i'm a shram fanboy but i've ridden the dira ace and it's so so nice it's a full dira ace bike and um, we've actually got the most handlebars right here let me show it to you guys these bikes usually come with a nice set of most full carbon integrated handlebars as well and we did the setup on this bike with a normal handlebar and a stem which is fine you don't always have to have something like this on there um, as long as your setup's perfect anyway full dura ace bike and um, the fact that it's real deal and then what they did on this bike is just all the grooves i know the new f8s and the f10s or whatever um, they also look nice but just the lines on this bike let me show you guys here all these lines is what made me fall in love with this bike way in the beginning when they started making these things they weren't some of the lightest bikes in the beginning so guys just had a client real quick um, I'm using the back side camera or the rear camera of my phone so please tell me if the stabilization is better anyway what I was saying is it wasn't one of the lightest bike in the beginning but they made it so much better at the end and the small things they do just to make this bike look super cool um, things like this putting this on here to make sure all the housings and all the wiring from the di2 is nice and neat and i mean if you look at this bike from the front you can see that it's, it's super super neat everything is tucked away very nicely um, everything internal routing as well and um, all the coloring like i said on the name here you can see that it's very nice and if you don't know what di2 is let me show you guys what it is I know there's a lot of guys that knows what DI2 is, but not everybody is familiar with this, so I'm quickly going to show you guys what it is. It means it's a DI2 electronic group set, so you'll hear this. <laughs> that's super cool. I'll, I'll never get used to that sound. It's actually very, very nice. So yeah, that's a few things I like on this bike. Now, there's one thing that I don't like of the, on this bike at all. I've had it on my own wheels. It was also the same wheels, um, there are Ace wheels from Shimano, I have the tubbies. I've seen it on a previous set of clincher wheels and I'm seeing it on this wheels, on this set of wheels as well. It's bad. It's, it's more like that, I'm not angry for that, but I'm very disappointed. So let me show you guys what it is. On the wheels, you can almost see, it's like the clear lacquer on the wheels are coming off. You can see it here quite nicely. As if there was a sticker on you or something and it just it just makes the whole appearance of the bike look super bad and that's the one thing i don't like on this bike it's basically just the wheels and the fact that the clear lacquer is coming off of them but um per further perfect bike very nice bike i'm going to do the weight of the bike as always you guys know my weight weenie when it comes to that i'll weigh the bike and i'll do some motivation afterwards Let me show you guys that. Like I said, not one of the lightest bikes. But 7.5, hmm, I wouldn't say it's too bad. 
But I'd ride that weight bike any day as long as it looks as good as this thing. So let's do some motivation. All right, guys. This is going to be a short and sweet little uh, motivation I'm going to do. My phone's battery is about to die <laughs> because I'm spending so much time on this thing, watching videos, and just uh, remember, I'm busy with the video on suspension setup, and um, I'm doing a lot of research. That's probably why this thing won't last till the end of my motivation. But um, the motivation for today is positivity, and the key to positivity or being positive is finding a happy place or a happy space. Now, I know it sounds like what, but I've actually found that. I've got a couple of friends. I'm missing. I'm missing someone, a very good friend of mine as well. Um, he knows who he is if he's watching this video because I told him this morning. But I've got a group of friends at the moment that we are laughing so much and just having a good time by just being ourselves around each other. We don't have to pretend. We don't have to make um, funny jokes or anything to get everyone to laugh. We're just a group of positive guys enjoying each other's company. We cycle together and um, we just keep on giving positive feedback into each other's lives. And I think that's the key thing. We support each other. Um, we we uh, give positive feedback on things. And we do talk about negative things as well because there will always be negative things. But at the end, we try to be as positive as possible and that creates a happy space. And I encourage you guys, get yourself a happy space. Get yourself a group of friends or just one friend um, that makes you happy and create a happy space for yourself and spend so much time as much as as much time as possible inside your happy space and that will just make other things all the negative things um, seem just so much better so I want to encourage you guys be strong stay safe find your happy space and um, I'll see you guys in the next video enjoy